When we're looking to use automation through the bank feed, it's important that we understand how QuickBooks is thinking, how it's behaving. So if I go into the bank feed here, we'll look at another example of a transaction and we're looking at the transaction on the spend side. So if we look at the spend side here, we'll see that if I run down, we've got an option here, a match to a bill payment. So in addition to matching to bills in the system, QuickBooks will look for amounts that match to bill payments, payments that you've told the system uh, have been paid. So in this particular instance here, it's found £20 coming out of the bank. It's found a bill payment that's not been reconciled in the system. So it knows it's an outstanding amount not reconciled through the bank. And it's suggested that this £20 might be the same entry. It's also suggested lower down, as you'll see, there's more £20 amounts going out on different days here. And it's offering multiple suggestions for the same bill. So just because it says here, this is a bill I'm offering you, doesn't mean it's the same bill. We'd have to look at it and say, well, this bill is for software today. Is it going to be this one? Is it going to be a different one? So we can look down and it's likely looking at this to be to be this one a little bit lower down that's more likely to be a match to that particular bill payment. So if I click on this particular one here, we can see the description from the bank, software today. Um, we can see that it has, is linked to a bill payment for software today. So it's the same supplier. And if I want to have a quick look, I can click on the bill payment here and just have a look at that particular bill payment uh, and check that it's a bill payment I'm expecting to have been paid off on that day. And you'll see there's no blue marker against this payment. It's not been linked to any transaction. It's available for us to link to. So that's the transaction we'd investigate. You may well know that it's the correct bill payment because you've actually manually paid it through the system a little bit earlier. So if we go back to that particular transaction and we're happy with it, we can click on match. And when we click on match, it won't create an additional transaction for us. It's just confirming that that is the correct bill payment. So we've no additional transaction being created. We are simply matching to an existing entry in the system. If you want to have a quick look and check at that, I can go to the little looking glass in the top right here, click on there, and I'll be able to see that um, we have not got a transaction created here at the top for, for, the, for that particular amount. There's no transaction created because it's just confirming a transaction for us. If we were to find that transaction, we would actually see that it's got a little marker against the transaction now to say that it came through from the bank feed. But you won't see it created, you won't see it creating an entry, you won't see it in your most recent transactions because it's not creating, it's just confirming the entry that's already in QuickBooks. So that's an example of a transaction where we're doing, uh, we're seeing an amount coming through the spend. Instead of creating an entry against perhaps a bill, and creating a bill payment, it's actually matching to an existing transaction, matching to an existing bill payment. No transaction is created within the system.